Hello everyone, um, today we are going to be doing a quick painting tutorial. So what I'm going to do today is I've been asked to, to just see if I can give you some quick tips on how to paint armour really quickly. And uh, this is really for people that are really inexperienced with painting or just looking for a nice, quick, easy way to uh, paint some armour. Um, and also wanted to highlight how to sort of correct some little mistakes you might do once you've undercoated. So as you can see here, I've got some smudges where um, basically I've picked up the model and my fingers have smudged it as I've, as I've uh, picked it up because it hadn't, wasn't completely dry. Um, when you're just starting out, those little things there really are nothing to worry about. So what we can do is I'm actually going to show you just how little you'll see of those once you actually paint using this technique that I'm going to show you today. Okay, so we are just about ready to get going. So as I say, what I've got here is Retributorama and I've undercoated that using the spray. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a contrast paint to go over the armour and that is going to give us a nice metallic look to our green armour. So we're going to end up with a green space marine in like nice shiny armour. Um, so this is the paint we're going to be using. This is Pterodon Turquoise Contrast Paint. Now, if you haven't used contrast paints before, um, best way to describe them is they are essentially just a heavy wash. Okay, so they're nice and thick. You get a nice thick pigment with them um, and you get really nice results. If you just if you have a little play around, different undercoats will give you different results. So with this one, we've got the gold and then the pterodon turquoise going over it, which will give us a nice sort of greeny look to the armor. Now, when I put uh, contrast paints on I actually go quite thick because as it's drying you can still move it around so you do have to be aware of the paint pooling but don't be afraid to put quite a lot on and then just move it around move it around where you want it to go and if you find that you've got um, you know blobs of paint going everywhere and they're not you know they're not in the places where you want them you can still use your brush just dry your brush and then move them around with the dry brush because what it will do is the dry brush will actually move a lot of that paint to where you want it to go or even just take it back up into the brush so really easy to do and as you can see here I'm, I'm just putting it on really nice and thick so it looks really dark at the moment but what you'll notice is as it dries the the gold from underneath will actually start to come through and you'll start to get a really nice uh, effect um, you can see here just around the face there, it looks like it's just a little bit thick. So what I'm going to do is I've just gone back over again with the brush, just around there, and it will just remove those ex that extra bit of paint. And I can actually put that paint around the backpack just so you're still using the paint and you're not wasting any. Um, so you're going to go around the whole armour sections here. We won't worry too much today about the little details because what we're doing is we just want the armour to be blocked in and later on we'll go through details for how to do the gun and, and the other details as well. Um, so as you can see, just going around the feet, just to be honest, there's no real sort of hard and fast way to say you should definitely start at this area or that area. All I would say is if you're gonna do this, this way of painting, do the armor first and then you can go back and then add all the little details in later because um, that way it's a, you know you're not going to go back over bits that you've already done so yeah just going to quickly just finish this off as you can see so it's only taken us what a minute or so just to cover the armor and then it's a case of just doing the backpack and then we're done so let's just get the backpack done Okay, so what we've got here is we've done the backpack, we've done the armour, and it's just had about half an hour to dry. So as you can see here, we've got a really nice metallic look to our armour, nice green armour. And some people would leave it at that, but what you can do is you can add highlights after that and do what you like. But you can see here we've got loads of nice shine and stuff. There's a few little areas if you find that if uh, the paint sometimes, what it does is it doesn't dry consistently all the way around. If you find that's the case, then just use a little bit of the pterodon turquoise just to dot in those areas. You'll find it is literally just a dot. 
So with that in mind, what I thought I'd show you as well, some other examples of other models that I've used this technique on. So you can see it can be used on all sorts of models. Thanks for watching everyone. I really hope you found that useful. Uh, just a little quick tutorial today, just to show you how to do this armor. Um, if you've got any other questions about how to do the armors and other sort of painting tips and stuff, let me know. But like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you again next time.